Jank Odo moment. Uh, Dialga to calm it down after what Team Rock did with the, with, with the witch with the red chain. Once you step a couple steps close to it like that, it automatically walk you towards um, Dialga. And I'll say grab, <laughs> whatever. I, I miss probably miss with that, but it's some kind of weird screech. Yeah, this is some great music too. So I'm filming at night. So um, yeah, I'm Dusk Balls is really gonna be my friend here. Um, this Dialga. It's about any point of this game, it has the same catch rate of as like a Chansey, and I think Palkia has the same catch rate as a Chata. So it's not like really impossible, like it's a 3 catch rate, but it's very low. No, it's different this time around in Diamond Pro and Platinum. So I'm gonna start with a flamethrower, see how much that does. So, um, it's Dragon Steel type, so it's actually, this will do, um, neutral damage on it actually, so that's good. So I'm gonna just start with that. Let's get some medical on this, okay. Cool. And now this move called Roar of Time, and that's a really powerful, um, you know, dragon type move, I guess. I don't know if it's dragon type move or normal type. I'm not really sure. But yeah, just keep in mind, and keep watch out for it, because it's very really powerful. This thing's level 47, so it's probably going to be a little bit higher than your Pokemons in your party, compared to their levels. It's going to be an ancient power now, okay? This will be super effective, I think. It's neutral effective, actually, because I'm... Half fighting type, half fire. Let's use another uh, flamethrower. I guess that's all I'm gonna do for right now. It's gonna be allergies in rough time now. Okay, then watch out. This one's gonna hurt. This move's gonna hurt Inferno a lot. Probably knock it out. Yeah. Well, Inferno did his job, he was just trying to weaken the Pokemon. Now, luckily, this Pokemon doesn't know any restoring moves like Recover or anything like Mino Mewtwo had in Pokemon Leaf Green, Fire Red, and Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. So, um, I'm gonna switch to. I'll switch to Bronze, because he might be a good tank for this. I don't have any status conditioning moves like Paralyze it or uh, anything like that, put it to sleep. I don't really recommend you burn this thing on purpose or poison it because it'll slow what you're done with its HP. Plus, uh, I guess Dalga being half steel type, uh, poison type moves like toxic won't even affect it at all. So I'm gonna see if I can catch this in one Dusk Ball because I've been able to do that before. So let's see if I can do it now. Let's see. The moment of truth, everyone. Ah, uh, didn't even shake once. Are you kidding me? Didn't even check once that much for charge. Okay, let's set another dusk ball. I only bought four of them, so I'm um, gonna uh, hopefully we can catch one in one of these four dusk balls that I have. So let's see. Oh, it's not even checking once. What the heck? We're at nighttime, bro. It's nighttime. Okay, ancient power. I should uh, bronze ship and uh, tank this thing. Yeah, okay. Oh, crit quit. Okay, good. I thought it was like a uh, more, more effectiveness, but that was just a crit quit. Okay. I have one more um, Dusk Ball after this one, so basically just one left after this. I wanted to shake at least once. One, two, three. Yeah, there we go. It, it, it's that easy to catch Dialga in a Dusk Ball if it's nighttime. I mean, it's just so easy. It's just... what the heck, man? I mean, make it a little bit more challenging, honestly. Okay, so it has the power to control time. It appears, to the, it appears in the center region myths um, as an ancient entity. It's uh, it, its height is 17 feet 9 inches. Wow, that's a big, that's a tall Pokemon. And it weighs 1,505.8 pounds. It's steel dragon type. It's, it's um, pretty looks like a crown really. It's a temporal Pokemon. It's number 149 in the Pokedex, for the Sinnoh decks at least. And it's Dialga. There we go. That looks pretty cool. Um, give a nickname to Dialga. Sure, I'll give a nickname to Dialga. Let's name it, um, What's the name of Diego? Because Dialga Diego is a D name, I guess. I don't even know if it's spelled Diego, right? But I'm gonna spell it this way. Di Daigo. Let's just name it Daigo. Daigo. You know, that's, I don't think that's the right way to spin out, spell Diego, but we're gonna go with it. Yeah, so it was sent to Beeb's PC. Okay, cool. That was awesome. Okay, Steven, I, I don't know how... You, you were magnificent. Truly, you were incredible. I've lived for 60 years, but I've never been thrilled like this. Since the last time I... Since the last time... Since the last time the professor did a lot of research, he became very concerned about you, Stephen. So he came out to place to a place uh, as treacherous as this. Stephen, I'm glad so... I mean, Stephen, I'm so glad that you're safe. Let's go home. Yeah. 
and then Dawn just takes me home, I guess. But not really, Dawn will take us home just in a second. No one has the right to take away anyone's future or anyone's world. Yeah, well said, Professor Rowan. Now, they won't take you back here, but if you go back, you can actually get the Adamant Orb, which raises the power of uh, Dragon and Steel type moves, I think, for um, Dialga. So it's like a custom item, item, held item for it, but you can also equip it to other Pokemon. Does it raise both uh, Steel and Dragon type moves? I want to check that real quick. It's at the bottom of my bag, of course. Wow. Okay, so, yeah, the bright uh, gleaming orb to be held by Dialga. It boosts the power of dragon type, dragon and steel type moves. So, I think you, I think you can only give this to Dialga, actually. Just like you can only give that stick Pokemon or stick item to Farfetch when you had that Farfetch looking fire the leaf green when you traded it to that one girl in Vermillion City for a um, Sparrow. So, yeah. So, let's just, um. Let's talk to them again, I guess. Steven, I've been looking forward to. I'm look I'll be looking forward to seeing your, po your Pokedex go wherever you never visited before. That way, you would see Pokemon you haven't s yet seen. You know the Pokemon was. E you know that Pokemon was extraordinary, wasn't it? What is it? Was it really the Pokemon that created the Sinnoh region? I don't know, Dawn. That's a good question. Now, can we use an escape rope right here? Because I just want to get on Mount Cornet. Because I'm sick of having to be in Mount Cornet, honestly. So let me see if I can, uh, you know, use an escape rope here. Of course, it's at the top of my bag, so, you know. So if you go into, um, the Mount Cornet, you can actually move back here. So that's good. That's so good. So, um, I guess I want to see if we can finally get Palkia in our Pokedex for a page. So I'm going to fight a Celestic Town. Oh, and by the way, in the Pokemon Center, let's look up a sum uh, Dialga summary. Okay, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. A quirky nature, smell its pure, grad, uh, good endurance, happily eats anything. Cool. Um, it's ability pressure, which means that, like, every time you use a Pokemon move against it, it'll use 2 PP of that move instead of just 1. So, using double your PP per move. So keep that in mind. Okay, attack is 120, defense is 130, special attack is 157, special defense is 105, and speed is 90. So that's crazy special attack, honestly, and good defense too. And it knows Metal Claw, Ancient Powers, Dragon Claw, and Dwarf Time, which is a dragon type move actually. It's 150 power by 90% accuracy. Yeah, it's like a big hyper beam though, but for same type of attack bonus for um, Dialga, or Diego I should say. So let's move um, Rose finally back to um, the party and put back in the PC and let me rearrange my team actually real quick so I want to put yeah let's put Inferno right there and then switch to bronze yeah okay that's cool 